In this video, we'll be discussing the overview of translation. And then later on in the series of videos, we'll be discussing the translation in detail. We know that translation is the process of protein synthesis in the cell. This process occurs within the ribosomes, where information from messenger RNA, that's mRNA, is translated into proteins. We see the mRNA is decoded in the ribosome to produce amino acid chains or polypeptides with the help from tRNA. Before getting to the translation process, let's have a look at the central dogma of molecular biology, which explains the flow of information in the biological systems. Here we have the DNA, and when information flows from DNA molecule to DNA molecule, it's the replication process. Then from DNA to RNA, that's the transcription process. And when flow of information is from RNA to protein, it's called a translation process, which we are discussing here. In translation process, we have the mRNA, a cheap molecule, from which we get the information of protein to be formed. The mRNA molecule is read from 5' prime to 3' prime end in the ribosome. And in this mRNA molecule, we have a sequence of nucleotides as shown in the diagram. We have adenine, uracil, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, uracil, cytosine, adenine, guanine, and adenine. From this sequence, we have codons in the form of three nucleotides. The first codon shown here is the AUG, followed by CCU, and the third one is CAG codon. Remember, this all is going within the ribosome. For these codons, there are specific tRNA molecules having anticodons for the above codons. For AUG codon, we have UAC anticodon on tRNA. For CCU codon, we have GGA anticodon. And for CAG codon, we have GUC anticodon. Now to start the translation process, the tRNA is charged first with specific amino acid. And in this case, the tRNA is first charged with methionine for AUG codon. Then we see that tRNA comes in and pairs with the codon of mRNA and gives off its first amino acid, that is methionine. The methionine is the start codon. The second charge of tRNA comes in and gives off its amino acid according to the codon present, which is proline here. And finally, for CAG codon, the charge of tRNA comes in and elongates the chain with another amino acid. And in that case, we have the glutamine. So this is the general mechanism of translation. The complete mechanism will be discussed in another part. Now let's see the components of translation. The first is the mRNA molecule, which acts as a template, as it provides codons for amino acids to be incorporated into the polypeptide chain. Next is the tRNA molecule, which has complementary sequences for codons of mRNA, and we call them anticodons. The anticodon base pairs with the codon of mRNA. With that mechanism, it brings the right amino acid to the growing chain according to the codon present on mRNA. Then we have aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. This enzyme attaches appropriate amino acid to its tRNA. So we can say it helps in loading or charging the tRNA. Then we have ribosome, where the translation process occurs. It is a small and larger unit. The small unit of ribosome reads mRNA, while a larger unit joins amino acid to form the polypeptide chain. Looking at the ribosomes, we see ribosomes acts as ribozyme because it shows peptidyl transferase activity. This transferase enzyme catalyzes the formation of peptide bond between two amino acids in the growing chain. We see both in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes, the peptidyl transferase activity is shown by the larger subunit of ribosome. In prokaryotes, we have 50 as larger subunit of ribosome, in which 23 as component shows the peptidyl transferase activity. Whereas in eukaryotes, we have the 60S larger subunit, in which 28S component shows the peptidyl transferase activity. So this is the basic overview of translation. In the upcoming videos, we will be discussing this translation in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.